Hello and welcome to our Flash Note series. In this series of lectures, we are going to discuss briefly on very high yield clinical topics with their proper clinical correlations. This is Flash Note 7. In this particular Flash Note, we are going to discuss on meningioma. Starting with meningioma, they are the benign tumor cells of the arachnoid matter and they are arising mostly at the dural reflections of the brain and they are the most common benign brain tumor in case of adult regarding male to female ratio of meningioma they have one is to three ratio if meningioma are present within the brain and they have the ratio of around one is to six if meningioma are present in spinal cord so we need to understand why these meningioma have a very strong risk factor in case of female. The primary answer is that the meningioma express the receptor for estrogen. Sometimes they can express the receptor for progesterone as well as androgen. But the very high yield point is that meningioma express receptors for estrogens. Regarding origin of meningioma, we have already talked they are derived from meningothelial cells within the arachnoid membrane and they are most commonly present around the parasagittal location close to the midline and other sites where meningioma can be found includes olfactory groove as well as the lesser wings of the sphenoid bone. Here we can see the gross picture of meningioma. Here they are the two sections from different levels in the same brain showing meningioma. These tumor cells or tumor mass is compressing the normal brain parenchyma in the frontal lobe and is distorting the underlying brain. From this picture, we must be able to appreciate that the patient presenting with meningioma presents the signs and symptoms similar to ACA, that is anterior cerebral artery stroke, because the meningioma are also compressing the frontal lobe of the brain. Now, here we can see uh, again a, another gross picture of meningioma. Here we, we are appreciating there is uh, the presence of a hole within this brain matter. So we might be thinking what might have created this hole in this brain parenchyma. So this is the meningioma which has produced hole within this brain matter. Now there are some of the common associations of meningioma. It includes neurofibromatosis type 2 and sometimes the prior history of radiation into the brain also increases the risk factor for meningioma and they are the commonest cause of new onset focal seizure in an adult. Now we need to understand why meningioma generally presents with newly onset focal seizure in an adult. So they are mainly because these form tumor masses of the meningioma they don't invade through the brain parenchyma they just indent the surface of the brain and hence they are associated with newly onset focal seizure sometimes they can infiltrate overlying bone and cause an increase in bone density which can be appreciated in mri so here again we can see parasagittal multilobular tumor cells that has been attached to the overlying dura and the tumor cells is compressing underlying surface of the brain. Regarding histology of meningioma, Shamuma body is one of the classical hallmark of the meningioma. Now here again we are presenting you with an another picture of Shamama body, so please appreciate the rolling masses of uh, the meningeal epithelial cells and areas of calcifications. Here again, area of calcifications, and these are typically called Shamama bodies. So please notice that Shamama body are not found 
only in case of meningioma. Some of body can be found in case of papillary carcinoma of thyroid. Sometimes they can be found in somatostatinoma. Sometimes in uh, the case of the malignant mesothelioma. Sometimes in case of prolactinoma. That's why there are other pathology as well where samoma body can be appreciated but the samoma body in case of brain tumor is the classical hallmark for meningioma now in case of mri we can see the dural tail sign so dural tail sign is basically the homogeneous enhancement of the tumor cells along with thickening of the dura mater so here again we can appreciate dural tail sign in case of MRI. Now some of the flash quizzes. So most common benign cells of arachnoid arise from meningothelial cells. Meningiomas have a receptor especially for strogens. Sometimes they can have receptor for progesterone as well as androgens. Next, shamama birdies are found in meningioma variant of brain tumor. So, other pathology where shamama body can be appreciated includes papillary carcinoma of thyroid, somatostatinoma, meningioma, malignant mesothelioma, ovarian serous papillary cyst adenocarcinoma, and prolactinoma, the mnemonic shamoma. Now a question here, a 45 years old woman is brought to the emergency department after an episode during which she abruptly lost consciousness and had rhythmic jerking movement of the limb, followed by a period of confusion. The patient has had mild daily headaches associated with nausea that have been progressed over the past two years. The headaches are worse at night and occasionally awaken her. The patient reports no head trauma, visual changes, weakness, numbness, or difficulty swallowing or speaking. She doesn't use tobacco or illicit drugs and there is no history of seizures. An intracranial mass is discovered on neuroimaging and a biopsy of which is shown in the image below. Here, presents us with the biopsy of that intracranial mass. So a question has been asked that which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? So a person presenting with abrupt loss of consciousness and rhythmic jerking movements of the limb. It means that something associated with frontal lobe has been involved. So most commonly the tumors within the frontal lobe can be either glioblastoma multiform or the meningioma now from this histology we can appreciate this rolling pattern of these tumor cells and the presence of a rolling pattern of tumor cells that is shamoma birdies in case of brain lesion is a classical hallmark for meningioma that's why our answer must be meningioma next question here a 14 years old boy is presenting with nausea and vomiting generalized headache ataxia visual complaint and headaches have awakened him nightly for the past six weeks upon mri here we can see a cystic tumor in his cerebellum so we have already talked in our lecture on astrocytoma the tumors of child generally presents in cerebellum, that is infratentorally. And on biopsy of the tumor, we can see a well-differentiated neoplasm comprised of spindle shaped that have hair-like glial processes. Oh no, this is not something related with meninges. This is something related with the glial cells. And the cells are mixed with rosenthal fibers. We have already talked. Rosenthal fibers are the dense eosinophilic cork screw shaped fibers. Oh, 
Rosenthal fibers are the classical hallmark for pilocytic astrocytoma. So the question is asked, based on these findings, the most likely diagnosis is which of the following? So our answer must be pilocytic astrocytoma. So with this, we end up our lecture. Stay tuned. Thank you.